friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe these minimally edited surgery this is a soft cataract the pupil is dilated well and we have started this surgery this is the main incision at mid limbus at around 11 o'clock a side port is then made on the left side of the main incision and now i am planning to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye here goes the dye underneath an air bubble if we apply the dye underneath an air bubble the staining is very quick the concentrated dye settles on the capsule the dye excess dye is then wash out, washed out the anterior chamber is then filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose the dye is applied over the cornea for better visibility and now see what happens as i try to do capsular excess i'm using a forceps to keep the eye eyeball in primary position during doing the capsular excess i take a uterator forceps introduce the uterator forceps through the main wound and now as i try to do other excess i find that the jonule is very weak and probably there is a lot of loss of jonular fibers from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock capsular excess is done and now with the help of a 27 gauze cannula and bss hydro dissection is done my plan in this case is to use a capsular tension ring so after hydro dissection i ask for visco and inject some visco between the capsule and the nuclear material from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock so that the leading end of the CTR gets room to enter into the uh, capsula bag. Here goes the CTR. The leading end has gone into the capsula bag. And now gently push the CTR as the tailing end comes near the main wound. My plan, I usually use a, a mat person's forceps. In this case, I am trying to do it with two hooks as shown by my friend Dr. Deepak Megur. But as I try to do this, the uh, you know, trailing end is detached. Again, I hold it and ultimately I could place the trailing end into the capsular bag by the Sinsky hook. Let's go again. And now I'm using the pre chopper designed by me. This is a straight, simple design. The front edge is the cutting edge, and the posterior edge is the blunt edge. The instrument that goes to the side port is called nucleus sustainer or nucleus manipulator it supports the nucleus so that when the chopper goes forward it doesn't push the nucleus much and now i rotate the nucleus since the jonule is weak the you know in such cases the uh, nuclear mass doesn't tend to rotate used to and now I injected visco and then came out because the chamber was getting shallow as I come out 
and now I take the chopper pre chopper again go in and you know divide the nucleus into pieces so we could do this with without the pre chopper but this makes this surgery very easy we do not have to try to hold the nuclear mass and in such soft cataracts as we try to hold the matter in front is it enough and then we make a bowl and we have lot of tough time in, in the anterior chamber with a lot of fluid flowing. Uh, uh, half of the collecting bag is filled up with fluid so when the so much fluid moves there is loss of endothelial cells and corneal edema and inadvertently sometimes we touch the corneal endothelium by the phaco hand -base. but when we have pre-chopped the nuclear fragments always we are in the capsular bag and we can remove the pieces easily now I am trying to remove the cortex by the hand piece and surprisingly it came out very easily though there is a CTR in the equator of the back. And now as I come out first I inject air because it takes time to inject visco and so as I come out I ask my assistant to inject air and I come out and then I replace the air bubble with visco. So, uh, when the jonule is weak, this is another way to keep the anterior chamber formed. First air and then we get time to replace the air with visco. I am enlarging the main wound a bit because I am using a B cartridge. The wound which was 2.8 millimeter is now about 3 millimeter and here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and I want to check if it is in the capsular bag. I rotating it. Yes, if you can hook the uh, uh, rexus margin at the haptic optic junction then it means the haptic is in the bag. So the lens is nicely in the bag, the haptics are at uh, 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions, haptic optic junctions and the haptic which is on the right side towards the from 9 o'clock to uh, from six, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock is in the area of genular weakness, so it is giving extra support to the capsular bag. Now, uh, cleaning the visco using bimanual irrigation aspiration. My plan is to go behind the lens once first remove the visco from anterior chamber now the irrigation is from on the under surface of the between the uh, intraocular lens and the posterior capsule and all the visco that is trapped there comes out so we have got very good cleaning of visco and now this is closure of the side port When the side port is not stressed, then a little bit of hydration of the corneal stroma is does the job. But if you stress the side port and if you cause fish mouthing of the side port by stressing the uh, collagen fibers of the corneal stroma, 
and then you have to hydrate a lot to close that wound. So, always make adequate sized sideboard. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. You will be encouraged to use a pre chopper to divide the nucleus in cases with weak junior and soft cataract. You will be encouraged to use capsular tension ring. You have seen how to use it and you can do it. So, whenever necessary, use a capsular tension ring to complete your surgery.